Hi guys, Dan Hendrickson here at Torquay Golf Club. Just in the middle of a lesson and I thought I would do a little bit of ball testing with Lee. Lee Whitaker has been on the channel now a number of times, you will have seen Lee. Now, Lee does struggle with when we hit golf balls in the studio with getting lots and lots of spin. Now that's due to obviously his angle of attack, it's to do with his spin loft that he's getting, so he's delivering lots of lots of loft into that iron and we're working on that to try and change it. But I thought we would do a little test whilst we got him here to see if, if we move him into a different golf ball, will it change the spin numbers that he's getting from what he's delivering at seven iron and pitching wedge. It's just something I wanted to do, which I wanted to share with you guys as well. So let's, uh, let's head over to Lee and have a chat with him. All right, Lee. Done all right. How are we doing? I'm good. Ball so, testing. Ball testing, yeah. I thought we'd just bring you out here, just have a little go with the old AVX and put it up against the Pro V1, which I have in the studio. Yeah. Uh, you're obviously having a few putts around the green now with these two golf balls. Are you noticing anything different in the actual feel off the face? Uh, yes, actually, I am a little bit. The Pro V1 feels more um, clicky. The AVX actually feels a little bit softer okay. off, the, off the putter face. And that's absolutely what I would expect to get. So the AVX should feel a bit softer, but we should see those spin numbers reducing. <laughs> so even though you'll like probably the softer buttery feel off the face, you might then start to see a little bit of a drop off in the spin. So, um, which is ideally what we're trying to see, what we can get out of this yeah, cause experiment spins, today, isn't spin's it? Spin's my problem, it always has been, yeah. especially with irons. Um, all the way through our lessons, we've had spin issues. So okay. if we can find a ball that can bring my spin down, perfect. Okay, carry on having a few putts then, mate. All that, Almost huh? too soft, wouldn't it? Yeah, it needs to be firmer. Maybe the Pro V1. So at the moment you use a Z Star and you use a yellow ball, don't you? I do, yeah. Yeah, so obviously Pro V1 and, and AVX come with yellow golf balls. Have you seen the difference between the yellow ball that, that you're testing and the AVX? Uh, yeah, the AVX is a lot uh, more fluorescent, uh, more pearlescent on its, yeah. in, like, its look. Uh, the Z Star is more yellow, whereas yeah. this is more like a green. So you like it, don't you? You said that you kind of like the look of what that AVX was looking like. Yeah, I do like the look of it. It's, um, it I like yellow balls, so it matches. My, it gets to my eye perfectly. Yeah. So before we head over to the chipping green to see what these golf balls kind of feel like, or sort of how they react on the green with uh, what Lee's getting from his chip shots, let's just take you back into the studio now and get you some numbers with what Lee's going to get with his seven iron. Right, some pretty good striking. Like, so we, we're going focusing obviously on the seven iron for the numbers, but Pro V1, let's start off with spin. 7,399, so seven four spin, which is basically what we've been seeing yeah. when you're in, in the studio hitting golf balls in our lessons, isn't it? Yeah, completely. So it's quite higher, it's on the higher end of the spin. I'm always kind of trying to get Lee in and around sort of six and a half to 7,000 revs. If he starts to go beyond 7,000, I think that's possibly just a fraction too much, as what, which is what we're kind of getting in the studio when he's hitting golf balls. Peaking out at 44 yards high and going an average of 159, your kind of our best shot that was kind of online, I would say, is a 160 carry. The other is a little bit left at 167 and 162s. That's my shot shape, though. Yeah, a little bit of a draw you get on that. But ball speed off the face, 120 off the face. So if we then compare that to the AVX in the 7 iron, 120 ball speed, so the same. But look at the drop in spin. You go to an average of 6.3. That's a thousand revs, basically, that we get in difference here. It's massive into wind, isn't it? That, I, I can't, that is a big surprise. Now, I have taken out shot number 14, which was a particularly low spin ball, but you didn't quite catch it. Just got a bit of a hook on it. So I took that out of the equation. But still, even if I take that one out, is it 6.3? It's such a massive drop. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting to see maybe maybe 200 revs difference with a 7 iron, but not 1,000 revs difference. Obviously, this is so subject to your strike of yeah. what you're getting. So we're not, this isn't absolute, this isn't robot testing, this is like individual testing, but the launches are pretty much the same at 23.8 and 24.1, peaking out at 43 yards high, but you can see there a gain of four yards on an average. Yeah. Your best to best at hitting, roughly hitting target 160 to... 
I don't know, let's say 165 is pretty much hitting target, let's say. Um, but that spin is going to play a massive factor in the fact that the ball is just going to get out there just that little bit further because of that. Let's, uh, let's get back out onto the golf course now and just do a bit of short game. So we'll do a bit of chipping and just see what Lee's getting when he chips around the green out, outside. The flag done. You nailed the flag there. <laughs> now that you've hit some balls in the studio, you've had a few putts, how's it feeling out here when you're hitting some wedge shots? Obviously that was a little low on the last one, but... How Just a um, little, little though. Again, you get, got that more buttery feel with the AVX than you did the Pro V. Is that the same sort of thoughts when moving into a chip shot? Uh, exactly the same. Yeah, the, the, the Pro V one sort of clicks off the club yeah. um, a little bit more than the, the AVX does. So the AVX feels a lot softer. Um, the AVX just the Pro V one just gives that click when you when you strike it. So I prefer the feel of the AVX around the green. Good strike there. That was really nice, and that ball dug in quite nicely, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think you'll, there's going to be a lot of spin difference, but feel-wise, this feels a lot better. Yeah, that well, that, even that was a slightly heavy one, but it, it still did grab yeah, nicely. Yeah, did well it? actually. Are you noticing time. anything different in the pop of the launch on the shots when they're coming out? Uh, the AVX seems to go a little bit lower. Does it? Um, so interestingly, in the in inside, we were seeing the AVX jump up quicker with a full wedge, but you're now seeing outside that you're maybe hitting it just that fraction lower. Yeah, when it you're just chipping feels around the, the feel of, of it's going lower, but it's really hard to judge height from this sort of range. But it feels like it's going in lower and stopping quicker. Okay. So for me, I always use a Pro V1, so I, the feel off the face of this one now just feels completely normal for me. Nice bit of grab there with that shot. I'm expecting from what the numbers that you got in the studio, and then obviously what the title is saying about the golf ball, is that this should come out with a little bit less spin, so I shouldn't get a little bit that sort of checky control of the shot. But that shot there just grabbed absolutely perfectly, not a problem from what we're getting here. And this is why I think you're not seeing a lot of tour players using the AVX, let's say over the Pro V1 or the Pro VX, Pro V1X, because they they want to see a little bit more spin control around the greens with their shorter clubs, you know. But from what I'm getting, that, that's grabbing perfectly. Based on the numbers that you've seen from the studio, based on the putting, based on the chipping and pitching that we've just had a little play with, which one would you play? AVX. AVX? Every day. Purely because of the feel? Um, feel with the short game yeah. um, and the reduction of spin with irons. Um, that's key for me, that's given me a few extra yards, more control with the wind. And when we did do a driver test, they were measurable anyway, so yeah. I would change the AVX if I was in the Pro V1. So there's just a small review of what we've done with the AVX versus the Pro V. It was really, really quite good to see the numbers that what's, what Lee was getting in the studio, um, just a sort of a massive drop off, certainly with his seven iron and a thousand revs. I was not expecting to see that. But then when you bring him onto the golf course and into the sort of chipping area, which is where you're gonna sort of start to possibly see a difference with these golf balls. And one of the reasons why a lot of these tour players don't necessarily use the AVX over the Pro V or Pro VX is I wasn't seeing a great deal of difference you know when I was hitting those chip shots and when Lee was hitting those chip shots I was seeing a very similar launch a very similar sort of spin or reaction on the green as to what the Pro V was giving him with the AVX um, yeah I'm not seeing a great deal of difference in it Put your comments down there. Have you been out and done a test on this, these golf balls? Have you done tests on other golf balls? I'd like to hear what you have to say on it. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. And ring that bell if you want some more notifications of videos that are going to come your way. I look forward to catching up with you again soon.